today's episode of Ordnance Overview, I have for you a military parachute flare uh, ground signal. Um, I actually don't know the exact nomenclature for this, but we'll figure it out. As you can see on the end here, it's marked GS. I assume that means green star. It comes in this cool plastic case, but then the uh, cap threads off, a little piece of felt padding there to keep... Uh, get quiet from rattling around because military stuff rattling is never good oh, i got upside down there so a m125a1 i don't know if that's the nomenclature for all of these um i'm sure they come in different colors and uh yeah different versions but this is a brand new very nice example has the label here with the instructions i'll just go real slow and you can rewind if you want to read uh read these but i'm going to go over it real quickly um if you look at this you got this red knurling on one end and what looks like a shotgun uh um, primer at the end recessed in there and then at the other end you have this cap now this cap has a little piece of spring tab there to keep it um, from coming off, and that kind of has another reason. And then you'll have a cork sealant with a latex paint sealant over, or a cork cover with a latex paint sealant. Um, it's a common way to seal up these signal rounds, even 37 and 40 millimeter rounds. Now the way you use this is in the cap, there is a striker firing pin type thing at the bottom that lines up with that. So you take it off the one end, it acts as a cap, put it on the other end, and it's kind of like a big slam fire gun. And essentially, I'm going to do this carefully so I don't burn my shop down, but you slide it up to the red knurling, get it there, and then let's see, uh, you strike the bottom of the cap with a sharp blow with the palm of the right hand while you're holding this with your left hand. So a strong blow and it sets off that primer which ignites a rocket. Uh, I know we've gone over a rocket, you know, a signal rocket before in this. These are aluminum rockets. I'll put up a picture right here. That have some kind of fins in the bottom to stabilize it and they go up I'm guessing about a thousand feet and uh, you can see this one's from 2007 so pretty cool thing this is the only one I have I also have some uh, military issue pouches that are made to hold these work really well um, don't have one sitting up here but uh, they're pretty nice pouches. You could stick, you know, a row of these on your back if you're going to be doing some signaling or whatever. But because I only have one of these, I actually haven't used them. But instead, I have these. And these you can usually find at a lot of gun shows. Typically, they want 10 bucks, 20 bucks a piece for them. I never usually pay over $3 a piece. Um when I would buy, I buy them by the case down at Knob Creek. But now that that's over, I don't know uh, where I'll be finding them anymore. But what these are, are these are essentially the same thing. Only instead of having a cap that you strike, that strikes the primer, like these smaller ones have a pull string. These bigger ones typically, let's see if I can get off, they'll either have a pull string or they usually have... I'll show you. Yeah, they usually have a trigger system that you fold up and then you would kind of squeeze that trigger and it just basically a pull string in there. So you can see these are pretty cool. Um, this is the rocket for it here. Has a sig parachute flare. Uh, all these are typically red. And then the rocket motor, you can see, has three nozzles to kind of spin stabilize it and these cutouts to make fins. The uh, skinnier one is pretty much the exact same. The only difference is it does not have the spin stabilization, but it does have the, you know, uh, cutouts for the fins. These are really cool. They go a thousand feet. 
Uh, I usually have better luck with these ones actually, and I can carry more of these um, for any given time, but the big ones are cool. Some of them, depending on the brand and model, uh, some of the big ones are aluminum rockets as well. Some are black plastic. You'll find a variety. Typically, the smaller ones are all typically um, pretty much the same. The only difference I've found is some have a plastic cap instead of this soft rubber one. But these are just as much fun. Um, they aren't military, so uh, easy to, you know, easier to find and less collectible. So you don't mind using them on the 4th of July. I definitely don't use them when it's dry out, only on rainy days, uh, you know, into the night. Because if you had, I haven't had any issues, but if you had a parachute failure or it didn't deploy all the way or the flare just burned slower, you could set a field on fire, house on fire, tree on fire, something like that. Um, so they are dangerous and, or, you know, they are a fire hazard. So not something to, you know, um, be reckless with. Very fun though. I hope you guys like this video. If you did hit the like button, subscribe. Have you played with some of these? Like I said, they're available at a lot of gun shows. They're a lot of fun. Um, my wife actually likes these the most. She was the one who told me I had to buy another case of them, you know, at Knob Creek. So I got the last case the guys had on uh, Saturday, just by luck. So if you guys like this, if you want to see some more uh, ordnance in my collection, or if you have some ordnance you think I might not have but want to send to me to do a video, um, I'll take care of it and do a video and send it right back. Or maybe I'll want to buy it from you if, you, if that's an option. But let me know. Um, leave a comment. Let the uh, old YouTube algorithm know that you like our stuff. And catch you next time.